In this video, we're gonna be making a beautiful strawberry summer wreath for your front door. Hello, I'm Julie Samako, owner of Southern Charm Wreaths, where we teach you the art of wreath making and faux floral designing. In this video, it starts off as a live, but we had an electrical storm and so the video was cut off. But I wanted to make sure to record the rest of it, how you put it together. And so that's why you'll see in me in this video with two shirts on, but we have the full tutorial and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. So we're gonna be making a strawberry themed wreath. That's what some of my people, um, followers over on YouTube wanted me to make when I pulled them, what kind of wreath do you want me to make? A lot of them had made a comment that they wanted a strawberry themed wreath. So that's what I thought we would do is a grapevine wreath using um, a strawberry theme. Here is the sign. I already attached the sign. I've had this sign for um, a while, I'm not gonna lie. It might have been a couple of years and I can't even remember the lady that makes these. I bought it off of Etsy and then she wasn't on Etsy. She was on another website and I really cannot remember. Somebody here will remember it. Um, gosh, I should have thought about it before I came out here. I just can't remember the name of it. But here is the sign. How fun is that? with, um, I don't know if you can see, but it's got a little bit of a glittery uh, shimmer going on to it. So I love this and everything that I chose for this wreath is going to be um, based around the color combinations and everything for this sign. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it up here on our easel. I've gotta move this one. So this is the one we made in our wreath making of the Mump Club group last night. Isn't that pretty? I just love um, the bright colors for this perfect for summer um, especially I love that pop of uh, color for summertime the hot pinks and the bright oranges and the bright yellows if your door sits far off the road do bright bright colors in order to uh, attract the eye up to your door so let me go ahead and move this one out of the way <clears throat> there we go and let's put this one up on the easel. So here, it's got all our fun um, strawberry theme. Diamond dust, thank you. Yes, you guys are correct. I knew somebody here would help me out. Diamond dust is the name of the website that I purchased uh, the sign. All right, so we've got to go ahead and add it up here to our easel. I'm just gonna zoom in right there and y'all just work with me here it takes me a while to figure out a new location and everything feels different everything feels different all right so let's get this over here so i can see comments on this side hey jamie and we've got let me shift y'all i know i apologize until i can figure this out orlando florida we've got our um YouTube comments over here. Thank you, Lynn, for the congrats on the new location. All right, so yes, we are moved in, moving in, I should say. We're not all the way there. I still have about 10% at home in my garage that I have to do. This all started from my kitchen table in 2009. And now who would have thought, right? Who would have thought we're in a 3,600 square foot warehouse going live to people all over the world all over the world i love how the lord is using me to serve you and serve so many people all right here is the sun i'm just going to go ahead and add a bow right below this so this was a bow that i made and um before the video so you haven't missed anything. Don't think you came in too late. We teach you how to make some multi ribbon that we all love, right? The trendy multi ribbon popular these days. Well, you have to use all the reason the multi ribbon bow came to be is because there's so many fun designs and we can never decide. We're crafters, we want it all. So we're gonna put all the ribbons in one bow. All right, so we're gonna put this one on the bottom. I'm gonna grab my scissors 
and we're just going to dovetail some of these. All right, let me go ahead and dovetail. <clears throat> I love my new location. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I will be doing an, a tour. I just don't feel like we're even organized right now. I've got wreaths in the back warehouse all over the floor. We still haven't gotten our grid wall up to just, you know, host them or hold them. And then, um, all right, so whenever you have ribbon that's double-sided, you can just fold these down. Also, that's a trick for ribbon that um, frays. So don't cut it, you just fold it down. So we're gonna fold it up this way. Okay, we've got that one there. And now I'm gonna dovetail these on the bottom. <clears throat> uh, I'm not in Orlando, I'm in Florida. Not in Florida, did I say Florida? <laughs> I am in South Carolina. I went to Florida this past week. Maybe that's why I said it. I am in South Carolina trying to get my bearings on our new location for these videos. Okay, so we've got our, I always like to adjust my loops and shape my bow before I get started. All right, so there's that, that, that. And you can always add more streamers later if you didn't put enough. We gotta have more ribbon, always more. <clears throat> All right, so now what we wanna do is put a little bit of greenery. And I've got a couple of greenery bushes. I love that this bush has multiple grasses and textures. So one of the things I teach our, in our Wreath of the Month Club group, we just released a huge training for them on um, greenery, how to choose greenery, uh, what styles of greenery, what colors to use, and all of that is inside of our Wreath Making of the Month Club group. So we've got that, but look, one of the things I teach is to make sure that you use more than one greenery. So multiple greenery adds texture and dimension and a lot of interest. So we're gonna have this one bush has two different green, actually three different greeneries on it. So when you can find greenery bushes that have more than one greenery, it helps to elevate your wreath to the next level. And that's what we are all about, right? getting those Pinterest worthy wreaths. Welcome Clinton, South Carolina, it's not far from me. East Coast, Tennessee, welcome. Okay, so if your grasses are not, um, you know, waterfall looking enough, I don't know how to, shaped enough to flat, take the back side of your scissor and just run it down. This is a plastic, I love plastic. Um, it works really well for your outdoor wreaths and arrangements. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna go through these and, and um, shape these really quickly. Has anybody got plans for this Mother's Day weekend? What's everybody doing? I know some people have lost their mom and um, just know, I just want everybody to know who, if you've lost your mom, she's not really gone. She's still with you. It doesn't feel the same, I know, but she's with you always, watching you. So proud of you. She's very proud of what you've done and what you've accomplished. And she loves you, even though she can't give you that physical love and hug. She is showing you love through um, love. You can always feel love. I had, so when my dad, before my dad passed, he had Alzheimer's. And we would go, you know, see him in the um, nursing home or whatever. And <clears throat> a lot of times, of course, with Alzheimer's, they lose, like they don't know who you are. They don't know where they're at. And, you know, none of that. But... The minute you, we started, you know, telling dad how much we loved him and, um, you know, that we miss him and we will always be with him. It's, you can see the love. You can see that his face changed, his demeanor changed, 
His eyes started focusing on you. And I really feel like no matter where you're at, either in, you know, alive or in the spirit world, love can be felt. So your mama is here loving you, even though not physically. Gosh, that took a turn, didn't it? So you see what I'm doing? I'm just um, going through this, uh, shaping my greenery and talking like a, a crazy woman. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm trying to say, right? You know what I'm trying to say. All right, so we're just going through and shaping some of these. Welcome, Judy from Roanoke. In my simple, yes, my very clean workspace will not be clean for long. You know how it goes. Although last night after my live for our wreath making of the month club group, I found myself sweeping the floor and I was like, well, now that's never happened after a video. It's usually wait until the season has ended. All right, I hear the thunder rumbling. I'm just going to move along pretty quickly so we can get through this without the rain. I've been in the new warehouse, which obviously has a tin roof. And when it rains, it is loud. All right, so we're just going to move this up here. <clears throat> okay, now when we add our greenery, I am going to dip it in my glue, which is over here in my glue pot. So I dip my glue over here. It's in melted. I just use Gorilla Glue Sticks. All right, Gorilla Glue Sticks to melt it. And we're going to go ahead and add this. I start with, let me go ahead and turn this up just a tad bit start around our bow and and then we irradiate from out from there All right so we if we do on one side then we're going to do on the opposite <clears throat> all right and then we're going to do up and down side to side back and forth all the things All right, so let's go over on this side. Remember your insertion. You don't go through the wreath, you go with the grain. All right, so now we've pretty much gone around the, the bow. We're gonna start radiating out a little bit more. Let's do that one down there. Make sure that didn't go through. Okay, you see how we're just going up the up the wreath base now. Okay, let me step back. Let me know what y'all's thoughts are with the location of the camera too. I'd like to know if it's good angles and I know I'll keep stepping in front of it, but you know, I was stepping in front of the last setup as well when we were in the garage. So one of these days I've got the cameras, I'm just going to add another camera angle eventually, but for right now, all right, I like that. All right. So you see how we've got our green based. Let's get that out there a little bit. One of the benefits of silk flowers is you can bend. All right, we're going to go ahead and use another greenery, this fern. Just cut that off. This is a pusher. I mean, it's tangled up right now. All right, pushing up and down. See how this goes up and down? So make it the length that you want. Always give a little bit of a shape to all of your stems to make it look real as possible. Hey, Glenda, how are you? What am I going to do with my garage? Oh, that's a good question. So, I don't know. We have air conditioning and heater in it. <laughs> so, I do not know. My son's like, put a pool table in. I'm like, we are not doing that. I'm not doing that. He's probably the only one that would ever use it. 
thinking about putting the treadmill in there, maybe a sofa, a little place for me to cuddle with the dogs. Not the car. All right, so you see how we're just going back and forth, working in our greenery pieces. And this fern just adds another layer of texture and it's a different shade of green. So it sort of breaks up the grass and boxwood that we have. This one's just really tangled there. It's kind of like my necklace. I took my necklace off the other day and it just got tangled. I'll we'll just pull it off. All right, so we've got some over here on this side. We're going to work our way over here. So this past week we went to, I went to Destin, Florida for a business meet up with other business owners and we just always just brainstorm try to help each other scale and serve our customers better and um i had never been to destin florida and if you have never been to destin florida you should try to go because that was like the best beach i have ever ever in my life been on the the sand is like white powder um, it's so clean that your feet squeak when you walk through it. I'm like, no shells, nothing to cut your foot on. Dolphins in the water playing right in front of us. The water was so blue, you could see through it. Speaking of water, here comes the rain. Y'all tell me if you can hear me. All right, I'll speak up a little bit. So we've got one here. Let's see if we can angle this one down just a little bit more. Don't forget underneath your, bow ta your tails of your bow. I see a lot of times people forget to add right there. And um, that, you know, will make a hole because when, when you put it on the door, sometimes people have to walk up the stairs to get to your door. And if um, you don't put anything under there, it's, they're going to see it. All right, let's see. I think I need to move this one up just a little bit more. Let me redo this one. Let's see if I need a, a pick on this one. Hopefully not. There. That's good. All right. Now, you know... Um, if you don't know, maybe you're new, wreath making is all about layering. At any point, you can stop. Let's see, I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to go ahead and make this a little shorter. <laughs> Amy was like, your face is priceless when it started raining. I'm like, yeah, that scared the crud out of me. All right. Can you hear it? All right, see, this is the greenery, all right? Now we're gonna move on to um, our strawberries. Do you like to put strawberries in your salads? So that's one of the things um, we like to do, that's the thunder clapping. I'll just pretend it's you guys clapping for me. Okay, so here, separate and separate and divide, All right? Just making this more than one piece and we're always shaping, always shaping. Hopefully the power won't go out. Why'd I say that? I don't need to put that out there. All right, now I'm gonna put a steel pick on this one only because 
When I cut this, the little paper on the end starts to um, come off. So it needs, and I'll put glue on it and it'll just keep unraveling. So it's better if they're paper wrapped to go ahead and just put a pick. You can use a steel pick or you can use a wooden floral pick. Both work fine. And I'm not gonna worry about this flower. I'm gonna push that up and shape, 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 more shape, more shape, more shape. This is, your shaping is what's going to make your artificial flowers look realistic. Who likes the strawberry theme? Okay. All right, so we've got, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one because I've got two. Just dividing. A lot of times when you get your stems, you can clearly see a division where it almost looks like little branches come off of the stem. That's where you can divide it. So before you even buy, look at the division and see how many ways you can divide this. Now, I literally could take this whole thing apart if I wanted, but from experience, I know that you can also just quick, you know, leave them on, leave it all together bundled for a quick, a quicker way of making. Let's just push this little flower back up there. Let's see, I think that's fine. So give me a give me a thumbs up or some an emoji if you like the strawberry theme for summer. I love these. Now have we have you ever gone strawberry picking? That is a hot job. We've done that before, and I'm telling you what, makes you really appreciate <laughs> appreciate them a little bit more. All right, so we have all of our strawberries are all lined up on my table, and all I'm going to do is go through and start <clears throat> adding. We're going to work on around our bow. First, did everybody, when you were growing up, did you have that strawberry shortcake? Do you remember that doll or was it a cartoon or it was something? I just, all of a sudden it popped into my head. Strawberry shortcake, the, the doll, I mean, not the food. All right, so we've got one here. Let's go over here on this side. I'm just gonna work around, starting with our bow first. And here comes the rain again. Let's see, it doesn't feel like this one's all the way in. Let's see if I can redo that. Yes, okay, it wasn't just me thinking of those. Somebody else said that, yes, there is a doll. All right, there you go. You know that it's inserted into your grapevine wreath when it pushes in about an inch, okay? So we want about an inch. All right, I think that looks good. And I'm just gonna go down now with this one. Go this way. So 
So in the middle of doing this tutorial live, we lost power due to an electrical storm. And so now it's another day, but I'm gonna pick up exactly where I left off so that you can watch me finish making the rest of the strawberry wreath. All right, so we have our strawberries that we've already placed and then I'm gonna go ahead and continue adding. So we did here on this side and now I wanna go up to this other side. So I'm just gonna dip in my glue and find my location that I'm gonna insert. And I just need to be careful that I go in to the side of the grapevine and not through the grapevine. All right, there's that one with a little bit of strawberry there. Okay, and now I wanna go over on this side with this one. I love how the strawberry is just coming up the side of the wreath. Get that in there. And if I feel like that one's not gonna, you know, sometimes they come off of the stem, there might be a little separation and it's not hanging right. All I'm gonna do is just add this one separately. I'm gonna go ahead and put a pick on the end of this one. And we'll add it up here. right there okay <clears throat> and then make sure I can see my little white flowers all right we've got one more pick that I'm gonna do on the bottom on this side and then let me turn this up just a little bit okay. let me just lift up my bow I want to place it roughly the same. There we go. And then fluff, fluff, fluff. Let's see if I can find some moss. I've got a little bit of a glue drip situation going on. So to catch that glue drip, I'm just going to cover it with some moss right there. Again, I'm gonna make sure I can see my little white flowers. All right, I like that. I like that. Let me just droop this one a little bit, I think. So the beauty of your silk flowers is they are bendable, so you can put things in the position that you want. All right, so here is now that we've got all of our strawberries added, I'm going to go through and add some filler. I think these um, pink baby's breath will be really pretty. So I'm just going to take this off the bush, just like this. We're just cutting. I always like to keep them long and then we can make them shorter if we need to. All right, so we're just going to take and separate these. So we've got some with these uh, berries on them and then some just have flowers. So what I'm gonna do is sort this on my table so that I'm only dealing with one at a time. I like to put the berries in first and then um, put the flowers in last because the berries have a more impact on your eye. All right, so here's this, and they can push up and down, I like that. And we're gonna go ahead and start adding these to the wreath. All right, so now that I've got a little pick on the end, we're just gonna take these and go and add these to the wreath, making sure that we put a little bit of a bend you know, and shape into these so that they have um, a realistic look to them. Let's go ahead and go under this one right here. Bend that one that way. All right, so we went down, now we're gonna go up. <clears throat> I love this little pop of pink it pulls out the pink in our sign and looks really cute. Okay, there's that one. 
Let's go on the opposite side of that. Right there. Okay, we've got one down here. We're gonna put one on the opposite end. Just do a little bit of a bend. We want to make sure we see it. So pull it to the front. Okay, and I've got two more pieces. I'm just going to do one here. Okay, and then we're going to do one on the opposite side. And now that's just half of this bush that we've added. But you can see that adding that little pop of pink really just brightens up the wreath. Okay, that's cute. And then now we're gonna add the rest of these. So these have, it's from the same bush, but it's just a different stem on it. So it doesn't look at some, um, it doesn't have that pink berry. All right, so we're gonna go over here with this one. I love how that pink just pops out from the wreath. Just trying to find a place to put, it's getting full now. All right, let's see. I think I'm gonna go up a little higher with this one. Let's get a little bit of pink color over here. Mm. It's getting all the glue on all the things but the grapevine. Okay. You always bend it into place if it gets too long. Okay, and then we have one other longer piece. I'm gonna go ahead and put it over here on this side. So if I want my color here, I know I've got to insert way down here. Okay, I think I'm gonna insert that one one more time because it just did not go into the place that I wanted. There, that's better. And then we can bend it. And then I've got a couple more pieces so these are still very long, but I'm going to shorten them so that we could put them down towards the bottom. Okay, I want to put one right here. I love these stems that are pushers. They just push up and down so that you can make them long and airy or short and compact. Okay, so this is my last piece. All I'm gonna do is step back, make sure I see my strawberries and figure out where I want that little bit of pink. I think I'm gonna put it right here. Let's go right through here.
I like it. So you could add more white if you want to. I think I'm just going to leave it like this. But we are going to add a couple more ribbon streamers. So let me grab that just to finish it off a little bit more. So I think I'm going to have that one go right under here. Try not to touch everything in the process. There we go. So now we've got some strawberries on this side. And I'm going to go ahead and make this one a little bit shorter. I'm going to do a little red streamer on that side. I don't like to put a lot of ribbon streamers, but I do like to mix up some of the colors. Okay, maybe come and trim this one back just a little bit because it's covering up a strawberry. <clears throat> and then move that strawberry up there. I like it. Let's go ahead and do this one another way. We're going to just twirl this ribbon in a different direction. There we go. Beautiful. There you have it, a beautiful summer strawberry wreath for your front door. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Comment below and tell me your favorite part. And also let me know, what do you want to see next time? What should I make? See you next time. Bye.